kind of see last time I talked to you guys and a lot has happened since then. I've been traveling. I went all through Tennessee, Georgia, Louisiana, through the Gulf Coast and now into Florida. So a lot's gone on, but maybe the most important thing is that I have decided to get back into the ring. I'm in Florida along the Gulf Coast and um, I made the decision to wrestle again. And um, it kind of came as a surprise, you know, and will I be able to get back to, you know, a presentable shape and what I see as good enough. And um, the answer has to be yes, I can and I will. <laughs> There's been so much going on that I don't even know where to start. <sighs> you know, I was, it was my birthday week, so I uh, just wanted to spend it in New Orleans. <laughs> I'm definitely at a point where I'm just doing things that I want to do, things that I love and whatever makes me happy and is good for my well-being. And so when it was proposed to me to go to Mexico for these three matches, it just felt really right. Um, the stars kind of aligned and it wasn't planned at all, but I really thought there was no better way to get my feet wet again, test the waters a little bit, than in Mexico with some super cool people. I just announced that I will be returning to the ring for three matches in Mexico. Here we go. <laughs> you guys have been there to pump me up and keep me going this whole time. And I'm about to head into the gym because this is not something I take lightly. Just know that I'm grateful. I'm so grateful for you guys and uh, I will be ready. I'm working hard. I just, I don't know what the end result will be. I'm just gonna bust ass though. And, and uh, you know, you get what you get and you don't get upset. Morning. It's raining today and I don't feel like getting out of bed, but I have to. <laughs> uh, it's so nice to go to bed like in a tank top and shorts and waking up warm. Oh. This is kind of what I've been after since I left Canada. I'm in some beach town in Florida, um, like Callaway or Panama City, somewhere along that area. And just parked at a Planet Fitness. I stayed here all night. Um, here we go. Oh my goodness, it just feels so nice to lie here and listen to the rain. But I gotta be disciplined, gotta do my thing. Yeah, time to get up, plan, get my coffee, um, eat my breakfast, get in the gym, shower, drive. I'm just trying to ignore the soothing sounds of rain and get out of bed and start my day. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous because as much as I believe in myself like there's a time limit right so I'm just like how much progress can I make and I am visualizing this awesome body um, that I've had before and I can see it and I feel it and every time I'm in the gym I know I'm getting closer like 10 years ago, I was always in shape. Even when I thought I was out of shape, I was still in shape. You know, I could always go. My conditioning was always good. Um, even though my weight would fluctuate, I was always like kind of within a window. And I haven't had to worry about any of that for like seven years. So just my starting point is different. And we'll have to see how my body reacts. Uh, it's a, an awesome goal to have and uh, it'll be a journey. Um, yeah, just random thoughts going through my head as I am leaving the gym. I'm trying to... <laughs> oh, bye! Yeah, man, 50 days to go until I get back in the ring. This beach time has been sandwiched between two gym sessions. My whole van has just turned into a pile of damp, sweaty laundry. And let me tell you, it's uh, been an interesting journey so far. Just, you know, trying to keep my confidence up. What I can do is stay disciplined and stay focused. But I have 50 days. 
I keep chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. We'll see where I get to, you know? So I kind of skipped a bunch of time, especially that Georgia and Tennessee, Louisiana uh, time frame where I didn't feel like documenting very much. You know, I was doing a bunch of really cool things that were personal to me and I just wanted to be in the moment and be present and enjoy it all. I'm doing these twice a day in the gym, wake up in the morning, um, do my weight training, do some cardio after that. Then I'll come back in the evening and do either abs or neck and some more cardio. There are some differing opinions, um, especially from my Mexican fans about uh, where I should return and how and with whom. And uh, I always appreciate that uh, that people are still interested in my career and that uh, they take the time to let me know uh, their thoughts on it. But this is uh, this is for me, and I'm doing it in a way that I know is right for where I am in my life right now. I really needed to um, come and just charge my van. olive oil has solidified. It's cold in the mountains. I want to put mittens on and a big sweatshirt on, but at the same time, I'm just acclimating. I'm gonna fuel up and uh, go on a nice hike today. Uh, yeah, quit talking to me, I gotta get going. got back from the hike and um i'm all cuddled up in my heating blanket all right i'm just gonna eat something super quick it's uh third meal of the day two pieces of chicken rotisserie chicken um that i bought in town before i came out here and uh, that'll tide me over until i have a, like, a nice more sit down meal but i just kind of want to eat right now and warm up <laughs> sweet home for the evening so as you can see i uh, i have this big rv parked right in front of me i'm right underneath the light and there's a van parked right where is it right there uh, everybody have a good sleep and i'll check in tomorrow I just got out of the gym. I'm still in the parking lot at the Planet Fitness here and uh, just eating my last meal. Yeah, like a pack of uh, tuna and just mix it up with a little bit of cottage cheese. I'm at the beach again. This time I'm all by myself. And I'm actually on my way to Orlando where I lived for six years. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's the next step um, to my preparation to getting back to the ring. I definitely wanted to do this in a way that was most comfortable for me. And I knew going into it that there was going to be a time limit and there wouldn't be that much time to prepare. But I am going into it with a totally different mindset this time of just enjoying, doing what I love and having fun. Just in my storage locker, <laughs> seeing what's in here. I found this box of wrestling stuff. Um, this gear is uh, from 2006 when I won Amapola's mask, which is right here. This is one of my favorite gears. I love these colors. And um, got the knee pad here, another knee pad. The training has been intense <laughs> and really hard. Mm, the preparation's not easy by any means, but I am going into it 
knowing that I'm going to have the time of my life. I'm going to Mexico tomorrow. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty pumped for it. Um, progress coming along okay. Uh, I'm seeing some definition in my arms now, which I haven't had for a while, so um, that's definite progress, and that's all I can ask for. And uh, yeah, I will uh, be leaving on a jet plane tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna spend about six weeks in Mexico, and uh, I'm just gonna be uh, living there, training. In a couple hours, I'm leaving the van, and I'm going to hop on a flight to Mexico, where I'm going to be preparing for the next several weeks. I'm so excited.